Good morning, everyone. I am Oftar Nabila Abla. Welcome to AM Sports. The Africa Cup for Club Champions Hockey Tournament successfully came to a conclusion yesterday. My colleague, Benaya Elon Defiamakwa, was there to witness how Ghana Revenue Authority won gold medal for the country. The finale of the African Cup for Club Champions. The tournament has been quite a fascinating journey for both Tyrat and Zamalek who had to battle their way from the group stage to the finals. While both teams warmed up to prepare to face each other, the Ghana Army Brass Band took the stage and served the audience with lively tunes to set the tone for the big occasion. Both teams were finally ready for the much-awaited finals. Inspections were made by dignitaries and the Egyptian national anthem was also observed before the game kicked off. Zamalek, who were in blue, kicked off from right to left, while Tyrat, who were in white, also kicked off from left to right. But after a few minutes, it was Zamalek who struck first. Tyrat, who were not ready to give up, replied with an immediate equalizer and doubled their lead after a well worked team goal. Team Zamalek, who were still recovering from the second goal, were hit with a third strike by Tyrat, who made life more difficult for their fellow counterpart in quick succession. Tyrat kept on increasing their tally as they made it 4-1 in the second quarter of the game. For a game with so much at stake, one would have thought the two teams would have given each other a run for their money. But it turned out Tyrat were too powerful, quicker and well prepared than their opponents. The final result was a 7-2 demolition in favor of Tyrat who showed no mercy to their wounded opponents. The team couldn't hide their joy as they lifted their trophy. <laughs> Khalid Zaki, who saw his team dismantle Zamalek to be crowned champions, couldn't hide his excitement. It is the confidence of, uh, of, uh, of the coaches in their players, and their players do what uh, what uh, what we tell us in the, in the in the meetings, and we achieve it in the field. While the Ghana men's teams failed to make it to the final, it was the women who took the mantle to represent the country well in their division. Jerry made Ghana proud as they defeated Delta Queens of Nigeria 3-0 to win gold in the finals. The Ghanaian side made their presence felt from the start of the game and did not give their Nigerian counterparts a duck chance. Jerry opened their goal scoring account in the second quarter before adding two more in the third quarter of the game. <laughs> Delta Queens huffed and puffed but their efforts weren't enough to trouble a very strong and confident Jerry side, whose performances saw them seal an impressive victory to take the gold medal in their division. <laughs> Jerry coach Oseb Wachi Adam said his team were well prepared for the final. We played a fast counter-attack game. Anytime we break, it was, you know, marvelous to watch them, the way they move into position quickly and then take advantage, get into the D, either they get a goal or create a penalty corner. Individuals were also awarded for their outstanding performances throughout the tournament. Jairus Mavis Befi won the Women's Best Player of the Tournament award, while Tyrat Abdullah Anwar also won the Men's Best Player in the Men's category. After hosting a very successful tournament, President of the Hockey Association, Dr. Kedia Asante believes the stage has been set for Ghana to host the African Cup of Nations hockey tournament, which starts next year. Next year, we look forward to having more teams actually come and participate in this tournament again. But even before then, we are having the African Championships, where we will have the national teams, not the club teams, actually come and duel on this particular pitch. We are really excited to host the rest of Africa come January. 2022. The Hockey African Cup of Nations is set to take place on January next year. Benaya Elom, Dafiamepo, Joy Sports. Many Ghanaian players who showed promising careers failed to live up to expectations after moving to Europe. In 2009, Dominic Adia won the gold medal and also won the golden shoe for the competition. Unfortunately, his career never went as expected by many. 
Also, there's the story of Clifford Abouaji, who won bronze in the 2013 and the 20 World Cup, which was staged in Turkey. Unfortunately, these two players never lived to meet the demands many had expected of them. Well, Oliver Atta of Atta Legacy has been explaining to Joyce Sports what many players go through and their requirements to ensure that their career is not a flash on the pan. Okay, when you mention the names, you, you're mentioning only the players that you see in the limelight, <laughs> players that you've seen out there, okay, but there's a lot of work in the background. Okay. There's a lot of work that Atta Legacy is doing in the background to bring this unknown guy. Like I said, None of the other legacy players were the first badge of players that we started with. Okay, now over the years we realized that we need to change the model a little bit. Where because we had a lot of challenges with these boys, maybe I would say some of the challenges that would not make Boachi Adam continue his career with um, Juventus, and then they had to come down to uh, the mid-table um, leagues. So what we, a program we put in place is to set up group managers who follow these players regularly who follow this young talent because we are dealing with young talent so it's not talent who are already matured who can take good care of themselves yeah. so once we have these group managers who are following this talent it helps for them to understand and also correct them on regular basis yeah. in in moving forward so um, most of these um, group managers are already uh, former footballers yeah. who had gone through the mail who know understands it who have made a lot of mistakes yeah. so they know what it is to develop a young player so they manage them and day to day the day to day plan at first we thought that when you take a player to europe it's enough because when the player gets to europe <laughs> the club takes care yeah. of a lot of the young the highest level to some calf women's champions league news now and calf is likely to introduce a new format for the calf women's champions league after the maiden edition well, according to head coach of Hazaka's ladies, Yusuf Basigi, who led them to finish second in the maiden edition organized in Egypt, he says that the team must win this year's Women's Premier League and also the Waffle Zone to ensure that they return to the continental stage. It was all about uh, the passion that I inculcated in the players. Whatever you are doing, whatever work you are doing, if you don't have the passion, it won't drive you. It's your passion that will drive you to achieve your aim or your set target. So actually, they were not looking back about uh, monetary uh, aspects, but they were looking at, I mean, uh, getting to the highest level of the competition, winning the ultimate and making Ghanaians proud and making themselves proud. So that was the, mot the motive and the motivation behind you kept on saying, as I guess, ladies, we are going for the ultimate, you are going for the ultimate. But in the final, what happened? Yeah, we were all there for the ultimate. Uh, the eight clubs that met were all set up or set their minds for the ultimate. So definitely, if you don't set that target, I don't think you can go far. But we set the target and we got far and almost getting it. Meaning that there are one, two, one or two things that we might hide are together and then eventually win it. So it is something that uh, we'll still have in mind. But uh, it's early days yet because this time around we need to qualify from the WAFU before we get there. So I will say that um, for now we are back home and then we'll put our teams together again and see the way forward. And that was how Juventus won by two goals to zero against Salernitana. On this note, we say thanks very much for joining us for M Sports. I am Muftar Nabila Abdullah. Accra has a full great Olympics battling each other in court over the transfer of Glass and Awako because Hasafok have failed to conclude the payment of 50,000 Ghana cities to great, 50,000 dollars rather, to great Olympics um, following the agreement between the two parties. Hasafok was supposed to make the payment midway October. But the club failed to do so right into Great Olympics, saying that Great Olympics did not make sure uh, he was fully registered by the club. That's why they did not complete payment. And also, there's a battle between members of the Ghana FA and the Ghana Football Association. We'll have details of that story subsequently. I am Muftar Nabila Ablai, and this has been AM Sports.